back to Angie's table. Today we are making two different types of Asian salads. Both the sauces are gonna be soy sauce based. So the first one we're gonna be making is a cheddar salad. And this sauce is bomb. Everyone asks me for the recipe to the sauce, so I decided to make a video out of it. Sometimes I add soba noodles to it, but today I'm opting it out because the second salad is a shrimp udon salad. And the sauce for the second salad is a little lighter and also a little tangier. So let's go check out these ingredients. Let's prep our veggies. I like a lot of tomatoes, so I'm adding a lot, but all of these toppings and vegetables, you don't even have to use these three. You can use anything else. Tomatoes in half. You go to restaurants or bar type restaurants, they always have cheddar salad on the menu. And when I go to these places, it's really expensive. So I was like, I can just make it at home. It'll literally be half the price. It's really simple, and it's a really good way to get your veggies and your protein in, and it's perfect for the summer. Cucumber smell is literally like a staple of summer. Very, very thin slices of this. Now for the sauce. For the sauce, we'll need two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of minced garlic, half tablespoon of wasabi, a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. Give this all a mix. These sauces are always good if they're a little sweeter, so that's why I like to really add in a good amount of sugar to it. Obviously, wasabi is optional, but if you guys know me well, I love wasabi. I use a lot when I eat sushi. Make sure to break apart the wasabi to make sure that the sugar is well mixed within. So this is all mixed up. I'm gonna save this until I have to pour it on top right before eating. All we have left to do is cook our cheddar. Just gonna add all of this in. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. I love how fast cheddar cooks. It's like so my style because I'm very like, come on, come on, come on, fast, fast, fast. So I love cheddar. We don't want to overcook it, so I'm gonna turn the fire off. And we're literally just done. We have to plate and we're done. Okay, for plating, I'm gonna add a little bit of onions at the bottom. and then add the cheddar on top. Looks so good. My aunt sometimes adds more color to it, so it's really pretty when you add some paprika. I guess another way to say it is the multicolored bell peppers to both of the salads. And now we just go in and top it with cucumbers and the rest of our ingredients. Today's word of the day is hippie, which means sunlight. It was raining a lot in the morning and then the clouds are all gone and it's very, very bright and it's really pretty actually. The weather is phenomenal. I think we have to take Essie on a nice walk. Personally, I like the days where there are no clouds. I kind of like it with cerulean blue. It's almost like a royal blue. It's not sky blue. It's a little darker. I kind of like that kind of sky better. I mean, I think Grace, you like it with more clouds in the sky, right? No, I don't like oh, clouds. Okay. <laughs> but today's word of the day is hippie, which means sunlight. We're gonna start off by boiling our udon noodles and our shrimp. Not together, separately. Udon noodles don't need too much time cooking. I would just say about three minutes in boiling water and 
These usually come frozen, so just make sure to submerge them in some water so that they unravel. And prepare an ice cold bath as well to put the udon noodles and the shrimp in afterwards. For the shrimp, we also don't need too much time. I would say about three minutes as well. I'll cut the shrimp in half so that you don't have to use so much of shrimp because it is kind of expensive these days. For the shrimp udon salad, we need three tablespoons of soba sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, one and a half tablespoon of vinegar, two tablespoons of oligosaccharide, teaspoon of sugar, a squeeze of one lemon slice. Okay, we're done. So I have my udon and my shrimp there. I'm gonna add in the sauce little by little. And give this a mix. So we have our tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions, and our spring mix. The rest of the sauce. So I did add soba sauce to this. and It's like a little more umami and a little sweeter than regular soy sauce. And it's the sauce that you use to dip your soba noodles in. I actually make my own and I will show you guys how to make this soba sauce. All right, let's eat. So, should we start with the shrimp one? Yeah. Oh, Essie. So fresh. It's so fresh. Udon is so chewy. Oh, I went up my nose. Mmm. <laughs> Very light and refreshing. My mm -hmm. God, I love the shrimp. Very good. Mmm. Normally, I don't like salad because it doesn't have carbs, but because of the udon, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Like it? Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. Mmm. This one's a lot in your face mm -hmm. stronger, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. Mmm. The wasabi. Mm -hmm. So good. Wow. They're like so different, but they're both really good in its like own way. Mm -hmm. It looks similar, but the dressing makes it very, di very, very different. Yeah. Yes. I like the cheddar. Gotta make sure that the onion slices are very, very thin. Yeah, otherwise it's too pungent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how the wasabi is like. In your nose, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like that burning feeling in my nose from wasabi. I think that's gonna be like a summer staple. These two, yeah. Everyone always asks me what goes in this dressing. Mm -hmm. So good. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a great summer salad. I love Asian salads. I like American ones too, but sometimes I just want something a little bit more umami. I hope you guys try this out and we'll see you guys on our next video.